Okay, this is George G here uh, in the dressing room, Carnegie Music Hall in Oakland, and we're having an exclusive interview with a very famous personality of the music world. We have the, uh, out of the music world, we have the Duke of Swing, we have the King of Swing. We have here the Count of Swing, Mr. Count Basie, who's appearing tonight with the Ozenam Strings in Carnegie Music Hall. Mr. Basie, we just have a few simple questions while well, we ask. Oh, yes. No, Georgie, let me, let, me, let me correct you in one thing you said. Must ever say the Duke of Swing, the Duke of Ellington. Oh, yeah, because that, that man to me is just everything. He must have a better introduction than the Duke of Swing, you know. He didn't swing. He was just everything that was beautiful, you know. And he could swing if he wanted, but he, his music was flowers and poets, and poets and poems and all those sort of things. He just, so you couldn't, wouldn't say the Duke of Swing. Cause you, you know, you weren't just thinking because we had some titles. That's how I got my name. Is because they tried to find a little gimmick name. They said, well, we've got uh, a Duke of Ellington and uh, Baron of Lee and uh, Earl of Hines and uh, Paul Whiteman at that time. In those years, he was the king of swing. And so that uh, he naturally is uh, a, a man, a Duke of royalty. That's a real good way to put it, Mr. Uh, you mind if I call you Count instead of? You can call me Count or uh, Bill, whatever, uh, okay. whatever, you, whatever you feel comfortable with. Oh, thank you, Count. OK. Now, you, you've been successful, you've been famous for the last few decades, and yet you've been around since when the big bands were big in the 40s and the 30s and on to the 50s and on to today, and you still constantly, constantly work all these one-night stands. How do I do it? <laughs> Basically, yes. I try hard to do it, but uh, uh, we haven't been working quite as hard as we used to work um, just before I, I had uh, a battle with my heart. Mm. And I've sort of cut that down uh, uh, seven, uh, 25 percent. I do. I do 75 percent of it now, and uh, and it's even lesser than that. You know, of course, we work five, six, seven weeks, and then we always have a, a little holiday. Get a road to serve break. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do play a lot of one night stands. I've I've heard you many times, and most recent time in Carnegie Hall in New York City, where you participated in the Newport Jazz Festival. Yeah. Another question. While we're on that subject. Now, in an audience as sophisticated and diversified as New York City and then as Pittsburgh, do you tend to play different, like, you know? We can't play any different. We still got to play the same way that we work all the time. I mean, we don't have different music for different, mm -hmm. different audiences because we don't, you know, our library isn't that great. And then, then too, we don't uh, uh, try to go into, uh, any different types of things of music and so forth. We just still got. We, this is a blues band. Right. Oh, you know. I'm, believe me, Mr. Basie, I'm very <laughs> familiar with the Count Basie band. I'm a oh, big great. band fan Thank of all the types, especially the Count Basie orchestra. Thank you. No, so we just try to do, do just probably the same thing. You know, same uh, thing type things. You know. Seem very modest. Well, concerning the big bands of today, like Woody Herman's and and Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich. They uh, they all seem to. To uh, look for new, always with Woody's band, he's always having a new herd every few months, and always injecting new blood, as as I've read Mr. Herman say. And um, but yet you tend to uh, stay with your old established stars, like for example, like Freddie Green, who's been with you for quite a while. A thousand probably. years. <laughs> he's the uh, hope you don't mind me saying so, like the uh, di dinosaur of your band. That's right. I guess you can uh, you can say that he's a what do we call him, Mr. Hold Together or something like that. I mean, he's pretty strict with the as far as tempos are concerned. That's so. Sometimes you, if you catch us working, that anytime we have some something to do in front, like the rhythm section, we cut Freddie out because I mean we uh, we can't get any space in there when he's in there because we can't play with. It. Sometimes we play with tempos and things like that. Of course, if if Freddie's in there. We got to stick right there where it is, you know. Then when uh, we get ready to get to get together on a, on a solid uh, stand, mm -hmm. then Freddie comes in and, and it sort of keeps. We call it Mr. Holder Together. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you find these uh, established musicians more talented or more into the swing? Who the, these uh, musicians that you you tend? Well, like I said, the original question was like you tend to um, have established musicians like uh, when. 
From what I don't know about that, but no. you, you see, because the musicians uh, uh, now, uh, the young musicians that you hear, like with Woody and, and Buddy, you know, and, 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 and yeah, the excellent musicians. They're just more, just great. They've got everything you need. You've had many great bands in the past few decades. You've had people like personnel such as Sweets Edison and Lockjaw Davis and vocalists like Jimmy Russian. Um, Billy Holiday. Phil, sorry, I missed that, right? But uh, how do you rate your band today with among your better, greater, the greater band? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's, it's really the, as, as Ellington would say, it's the band that, that's with you at the time. That's very deep, yeah. That's yeah. Really true, isn't it? It's very yeah. true when you think about it. Sure. Huh. I was expecting some long answer, but that one sentence puts it down really nicely. I'm sure you remember the swing days, the big band era and everything, yeah, with yeah. Glenn Miller and Benny yeah. Goodman and Count Basie and Duke. How about your feelings in, about the big band days? You know, and will it ever come back? And if it ever does come back, will it be the same? Or? Well, I, I don't think it'll be the same because you don't have the same guys. Right. I mean, but it it will be it will be uh, jazz and swing. I mean, uh, uh, we, well, I, I would say jazz. I mean, and because uh, uh, that's 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 what they they're calling it now anyway, jazz. They're right. They're calling it swing, you know. Not anymore. So that so that uh, so that went further further back than than swing. Mm -hmm. It's jazz. It's back to almost original. Right. And uh, well, that uh, I I think the kids are uh, uh, doing a lot of research on on this jazz, and they're playing an awful lot of it, and of course I heard it out here today with the kids playing a lot of our, a few of our right. charts, you know, right. and playing, they're just marvelous. Mm -hmm. And they're real, they're real, real, real young, and they're doing a marvelous job. Nice <laughs> life count. And it's wonderful being long here with you and more power to you. You think we can have a picture of you, me, us? Oh.